Hey guys, the name is Jasper, and welcome back to another reaction video. Bago yon, bago ito lahat, gusto mo nang batiin si Ariconi Manalang, it's her birthday. Well, it's her birthday yesterday. Uh, February 12 na ngayon, her birthday was February 11. So, if you're watching, Ariconi, happy birthday to you. I hope you had an amazing birthday. And now, also, we're back. We're back, guys. Um, I'm going to binge watch episodes 93 to 95. And for this specific episode, for episode 91, I'm going to read your comments, of course. And I got coffee right here. Tapos na yung biyernas ko. Off ko na. That means, pwede na magpuyat. Pwede na magkape. At pwede na mulod naman na Clara Tibara. The last second week. And once tomorrow arrives, we are now in our last week of Mane Clara Tibara. Um, so, tapos na yung dana na. I think, I believe, tapos na yung dana na. Pinapalabas na yung Dirty Linen at pinapalabas na rin yung Iron Heart which I heard um, nothing but good stuff about those um, shows. Um, they are from GM, uh, no, ABS-7 I believe. And yeah, guys, we are now at the end game. Sign mga comments niyo and thank you for if you're watching this right now and inaabang uh, um, yung video ko. Sorry for the delay. I I think you guys already know why the delay and stuff like that i already explained several times but now it's time to read your comments let's see what you guys um have been writing up and uh, yeah after nito panorin natin yung episode 93 i wonder what happened i was able to avoid a ton of spoilers so i am very thankful pero yeah all right you guys nating gawin tayo ngayon scroll down all right Telma Musgana wrote in, Ang galing ng acting dito ni Khalil Ramos, Jess. Ramdam mo, sayang nga lang uh, kasi maikli lang ang El Fili. Hindi natin mas makita pa kung ano pang kanya niyang gawin. Yeah, that's true. That said, but with that being said, the show might be going away but Khalil Ramos is not going away so I'm pretty sure we're st we are still going to see him in other movies and in other shows. But this is actually my first time seeing Khalil Ramos um, as an um, as a performer, as an actor, and right now I am just really impressed with his acting skills. So that is pretty amazing. Thank you for writing that in. Um, let's go over here. Telmon Busiana also wrote in. Um, Barbie is so bubbly, pero hindi ko alam kung matutuwa o maawa ko kay Ginong Fidel, kasi na na hot uh, na hot seat na caught off guard si Ginoa. Para na caught off guard. Uh, hindi pa niya taramdam na sikat na sikat na siya kasi hinahalungkat na siya sa lahat ng pass niya. Ah, uh, yung yung ano sa interview, kay, <laughs> interview niya kay ano, kay, kay Buya Bunda. I, have, I still haven't seen the interview yet with, with the Buya Bunda thing kasi you know, I'm pretty busy. Pero nababase ko sa interview niya with the CNN thing um, before a few months ago, he is very uh, mahiyain si David um, sa interview na yun. And clearly, of course, mas, um, mas sanay si Barbie sumugod sa mga itong interview because she's been in, in a ton of interviews before, di ba? So you can see the difference between the two. But yeah, um, I think David is just not completely aware of how popular he is right now on that he is right now a big name for the things showbiz. But you know, after Maria Clara de Bara, I hope nothing but the best for David. Um, he's not the best actor in the show. Pero whenever, uh, pero he has an amazing character. The Fidel character is an amazing character. And I simply adore each um, screen time that we see of Fidel sa the show. Na to. So... Um, I'm pretty sure David, as an actor, is going to 
get a lot of projects in the future because of this project and you know everything else from here is nothing but um but positiveness para kay David so there's that thank you for the and Telma also Telma was gonna wrote in ang GTV Jazz is other channel on GMA na usually mga news pero may telesera din pero usually mga kay, uh, um, kay Aral dyan pinapalabas ang The Last Recipe ah, okay interesting Yeah, um, hindi ako masyado nag um, tumitingin ng, ng Pinoy related YouTube other than Mara Clara Tebara, pero that's interesting to know. That's awesome. And also, Telma was gonna wrote in, it's true, Jess, Kim is the new one who when compared to Khalil. Um, it's my first time also to see Khalil's acting in, in a heavy drama. He nailed it. Yeah, Khalil Ramos nailed it. Kim is clearly new. Um, you can see na he knows how to, he knows how to act. But you can see that there's a huge difference between Khalil's acting and Kim's acting, diba? Khalil is clearly the more experienced actor. Pero, you know, there's always room for improvement. And, you know, in order for an actor to be a big name, they should start with something small, gaya ng show na to. Uh, and yeah, I'm just really happy for Kim. Also, Temo Busgana wrote in, Ako Jazz, I'm after or um, of your reaction, not the video, kasi pinapod ko to sa live stream. Oh, that's also of them. And thank you for um, for just watching my reaction. Um, again, I've been always trying hard to make the screen, yung video mismo na malinaw, pero it's just simply difficult to do it without having to risk na baka makapirate siya, which also going to risk a lot of um, time and stuff like that but i'm happy that you're watching my reaction videos it means now you know people are really watching my videos and people are enjoying it people are getting some kind of entertainment out of it and i'm just really thankful i'm just really glad that that is the case and yeah thank you for writing that in telma connie the birthday girl happy birthday at connie um nakadala eksena nila clay at basilio grabe ang galing Galing talaga, hugot mula sa puso, damang-dama, kaya grabe luha ko. Wow. Um, yeah, I, I, you know what? Sa mga comments na gaya nito, na, na, nasusurprise lang ako. Kasi, you know, whenever there's something dramatic na nangyari sa mismong episode or in a scene, um, there will be some people who will tell me na umiyak sila during that scene. And it's something that I I haven't seen in person because my family we we never cry whenever there's something dramatic. But you know, those scenes affect people differently, diba? Right? Some people are more emotional. Um, some people are more just like me. Na na feel ko you scene. I really like what I'm seeing. Na lulungkot ako, pero I don't show it physically. So that that's just me as a person. One of the rare movies that I have seen is um, Dubai. And Dubai is probably the first movie na talaga nagpayak, nagpayak sa akin. And I was in high I think I was in elementary school when I first saw it. That thing really surprised me because I wasn't expecting to cry because of a movie. But after that, you know, there will be some movies na iyak ako. Um, the movie, the American movie like World Trade Center, which talks about the 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 911 thing in 2001 stuff like that and there are or there are also yung mga commercials sa Jollibee minsan pinapayak din ako so there's that uh tumulong naman puso ko nang buksan ni Fidel yung cell da grabe uh, sarisaring emotion mga mata pa lang nila nag-uusap ligaya ligaya na tayo lalo na yung mga yakap nila grabe um kaya lagi silang trending yeah that's you i mean there are, we already talk about like you know there are people who watches this show because it's a no limit adaptation other people watches this show just for the celebrities and you know there are other people who watches this show just for the Clydell tam- tandem diba and yeah um they i mean it's it's actually it's actually smart it's actually smart for the writers to to put a love team here you know to draw some attention to the show and yeah, I'm just happy that they're always trending, diba? Right? And now they only have one week one week left. So there's that. Maya Lourdes wrote in. Uh, yung GTV is one of the sister channels of GMA Network. Uh-huh. 
yung time slot ng Mikai ay 8pm sa GMA, main channel, and 9.40 sa GTV. Mm. Um, kaya mga medyo late na nakakawe, may chance makarunod ng Mikai sa free TV. Okay. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, Kim DeLeon is the ultimate male survivor of Starstruck 7 noong 2019. Okay. I've heard of Starstruck. I think nanood ako Starstruck dati noong elementary days. I'm not sure if Starstruck was a thing noong elementary days. I can't remember. Pero parang pinanglaban nila yan sa Pinoy Dream Academy sa abs even before and maybe Pinoy Big Brother. I don't remember. Medyo bago pa lang din siya sa show business pero magaling din siya siya umarate. Yeah, so far he he knows how to act. He, he he really knows how to act. But I can see like um but if you compare him with Khalil Ramos, Khalil Ramos is clearly the more experienced actor. Sa nagagaling na po yung sipon mo kasi magbabaksyon ka po, di ba? Para mas maka-enjoy ka. Yeah, um well Well, buwan pa yung pa rin ako, pero hindi na kasing lala nung, nung nirecord ko tong video na to itong, itong four days ago. Pero everything is going so far. Balita ko, uh, it's a bad thing na bumahing ka sa Japan. Whenever, especially na magta-train kami and, you know, nakita natin mga video na six seconds sa train. So, natatakot ang bumahing doon. Good thing I will be wearing my mask though. So, there's that. And thank you for writing that in, Mario Lourdes. I really appreciate it. And finally, for this video, art testing arts. Hello, Arte. Um, thank you so much, Po, again for reading and responding to my comments, Sir Jasper. Hey, I love reading your comments, Sir. I really love reading your comments. Um, I really learn a lot of new things then as my comments. I hope your cold spoke will be uh, will be gone as soon as possible, and so you'll be better for your study, school, and education, for your work, for your YouTube channel, public life, uh, for your personal private life, and for your upcoming vacation in Japan. And thank you so much for it. I really appreciate it. I I am really happy whenever people just leave um, comments just to, you know, um, just to just to say ni nice things to me, and I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, um, after doing this reaction video, on its reaction sa Malaklara Tibara, um, I will be doing. Um, I will spend a little uh, a little less time on YouTube, maybe do some reviews and stuff like that. Um, YouTube is going to be my platform when it comes to me just basically learning the ropes of filming, video editing, stuff like that. One of the reasons why I made rea honest reactions and I do analysis is to, at the same time, train myself how to critically look at... Um, critically look at a form of media, right? And so far, it's been really helping me um, to think again critically about a show guy like Maria Clara Tibara. Especially, Maria Clara Tibara has a lot of small details that the normal person wouldn't see. Pero you know, uh, with this thing, na ginagawa ko yung analysis when when I when I have the time and honest reactions. Um, again, it, it helps me. It, it improves my skill to do such things, di ba? And at the same time, natututo mag-edit na mabilis, mag-upload. Parang it feels like na may trabaho ako, pero I also need to be on schedule and stuff like that. Yeah, I will still be doing YouTube, pero I'm doing reaction videos. Maybe not that much anymore. Maybe I wouldn't do again. Something like that for an entire show because I realized that it does take um, a lot of time to to do. Um, I now understand why some people would uh, resign from their jobs but I'm focused on YouTube full time. I now completely understand that because even for a small channel just like this, I can see that it's hard. Especially not only you're doing YouTube but you're also a full time student and a full time worker. So there's that. And at the same time, you also like to play games and you also like to watch movies, diba? Right? And we only have a few hours to just do that. So there's that. Thank you so much for that, Arte. And I'm looking forward to seeing your comments on the next video. And ito sila. <laughs> Alright. Sayang natin ito isa isa. Connie Manalang wrote in. Ang salamat naman at nakita at nakita sa wakas. Um, 
nakita na sa bukas silang silang dalawa yung Clydel mabuda mo lang na interrupt siya uh, mabuda na lang na interrupt ni Gerardo yung kiss nila kasi kung nagtuloy ba pati si Fidel na huli na din ulit ng mga Gwardia Civil sa kakahuyan na lang daw na naitutuloy nito Clay ang naudlod na Eh, kahit simpleng kiss lang, isang segundo lang naman yon Ate Connie, grabe ka naman. <laughs> Pero bitin. Uh, I mean, I think bitin yung ano na yun. Dapat natuloy yung kiss na yun. Pero I don't know. Maybe they're going to do it in... Maybe they already did it. Hindi ko pa napapanood. Pero I'm looking forward to that kiss. Someday, I hope. I hope um, Barbie's boyfriend is fine with that. Pero I don't know. <laughs> acting is acting, di ba? Um, Ange- Angelica... Palin wrote in, um, OMG, big re- big reunion to the next episode. Yeah, yung ano pasin ko na yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think next episode is, is the big reunion. And man, I'm re- really looking forward to it. Um, napakagaling, hindi ko na isip anong sunod sunod na mangyari. And kudos to Kalil Ramos. Uh, dama ko yung takot ni Basilio. At the same time, yung galit niya. Oh my God, yes, you can say that again, Angelica. Mahirap yung dalawang emotions na yun, i-portray na sabay. Pero, Ang galing, galing niya. That's true. Uh, walang tapos sa kaas, sobrang gagaling deserve nila uh, ng awards, even people behind the camera. Ayoko na matapos to kung pwede lang kasi kasi habang na provincial, wow, uh, di Coco Martin, di ko, di na magreklamo. Wow, that's that's crazy. Man, imagine doing a reaction video araw-araw and you're doing this for like, what, seven years? Parang provincial, no? wow, that's crazy. At some point, I will stop doing reaction videos because hey, it's just going to take a ton of time and there's going to be like a ton of catching up, diba? Right? But hey, even though Khalil Ramos is an amazing performer, uh, again, just like you said, we shouldn't forget about the director too. The director is the one who has the vision and he is the one on how he's going to execute that vision, diba? Right? And trabaho din ang director to bring out the to bring out the characters from the stories to bring out the the full performance ng mga actors and actresses galing sa kanila and you know what um nabasa ko yung direct yung pangalan director pero miss na nalilimutan ko pero whoever the, the director is wow he is simply doing an amazing job when it comes to the performance here the my actors especially especially Barbie Forteza especially Julian San Jose and Khalil Ramos um right now silang tatlo um best performer i i think sa sa show na to so far so there's that thank you so much for writing that in um Angelica Jack Q wrote in uh, mangkukulam po ang meaning ng bruha okay that's interesting hindi ko alam na mangkukulam pala meaning nun akala ko bruha means babae pero mangkukulam pala wow I really like that um it's just weird hearing the word bruha kasi um during that time kasi bruha sounds like something like a slang na nabuo in this generation as it turns out it's an old word from a Spanish language that's awesome Thank you so much for that, Jack. Melly Sapoy wrote in, Oh ha, mala Leon, Leon, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio acting mula kay Basilio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, a solid ng ka. Okay. Si Leonardo DiCaprio nung bata pa siya, he was also an amazing actor. And now that you made this comparison between Leonardo DiCaprio and Basilio and Khalil Ramos, I can see the the, the resemblance. I can see the resemblance. Ang solid nung kahoy na sinuntok niya, sakit nun. Uh, grabe nga yung acting ni Khalil. Akalaya mong siya talaga yung bata na nakaranas ang pananakit mula sa kura. That's true. Feel na feel ko yung trauma. Oh yeah. Again, um, Khalil Ramos, amazing actor. This is my first time seeing him as a performer. I got nothing else to say about him, pero... He is he is killing it. He is killing it as Basilio. And I'm really proud of Khalil. Um, he has the face. He got the looks. And he got the perf- um, the the acting skills too. Even his expressive face. Especially his eyebrows. Yung eyebrows niya talaga yung nagpapatulong din. When it comes to showing 
the emotions that Basilio has to show. Um, kino kutuban na ako nasihir na ng version ni Mr. Torres. Hmm. Nila si Elfili, always Apple. Sa so, muntik kissing scenes na Villa Hager. Um, pagdating sa Mr. Torres thing, na malayo. I, I, I believe that's not good. Mr. Torres can wear different clothes. He can turn into an alitap tap, pero him turning into a different person, nah, I wouldn't believe that. Unless you're just joking, then I I, I get the joke. So thank you for that, Melly. Melly Sapoy also wrote in. Um, yung gubat scene sa episode na to, lalo na sa tuwing may revolutionaryo, sa maliliwanag at maaliwala, uh, para sa nasabi na walang dapat katakutan, in contrast to the first episodes of El Fili arc, na sa sobrang dilim, parang ang gan episode na to, kasi nga naman, version na ito ni Clay, may pag-asa ng na, naaani na gan. Oh yeah, I completely agree with you, yeah. Ever since Claya arrived in this world, I realize yun. For some reason, El Filibusterismo finally has a sense of hope in it. Uh, kasi yung binasa, yung binasa ko yung libro, there's always, there's, al- there, there's always dread whenever I'm reading it. The f- first na, na experience ko yung dread na yun in the last chapters ng Nori Mitangare and it just continued throughout the entirety of El Filibusterismo. But yeah, since Clay arrived, there is now a sense of hope in it. Uh, kinikilig ako dahil sa unang suma, uh, sumagi sa isip ni Clay, nung sinabi ni Hernando na pinuno ay si Ate Lucia, babae. Um, sorry, kinikilig ako dahil sa unang suma sa isip ni Clay nung sinabi ni Hernando pinuno ay si Ate Lucia. Ah, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's really, that's a small detail that really speaks a lot about... um about the Clyde character. Uh, I'm just really happy. Um, pero as it turns out, daman pinuno talaga si Elias. Tama ba? Um, pati nung episode 88, nung inabot ni Elias ang yung rif- rifle sa babae, sinabi niyang, bakit ko bibitawan kung maaari ko naman gamitin? That's true. Wala lang kinilig lang ako. Yeah. Um, what the writers was able to do here I mean, we do know Love Love. One of our one of our viewers is a part of the creative team, so I believe that it's just my writers. They were able to write strong female characters. Rarely we we see that, but when you look at Cisa, when you look at, I mean, look. I'm not trying to criticize Osiricella, but. When yung female characters sa mismo nobela ng Jose Rizal, you can feel na you can feel na the female characters there are are helpless, di ba? Especially Maria Clara and Cisa. Dito, in this version na to, of course, it's more modernized, di ba? They were able to write a Maria Clara that that while Maria Clara has the essence of the Maria Clara from the books. She is also very different. She's the same but very different. In a way na palaban siya. Um, she's very smart. And gaya na sabi ng some viewers natin, um, may pagkapadre dama so siya kasi she knows how to make use of people so that she can take um, take them to, to her advantage, di ba? And that was really that was an interesting change that they did um, for Julian San Jose's Maria Clara, and I'm all for it. Amazing change. Same thing with Barbie Forteza, um, character of Clay. Um, at the er- at this at some early episodes, she was getting annoying, especially for other people. But I completely understand where she's coming from. That is also. An amazing piece of writing for the Clyde character, even 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 with Sisa. Sisa 
in some shape or form in this Maria Clara Tibara show, she was able to show this um, this kind of motherly love that wasn't apparent in the books. Um, if I if if Malino pa yung ko sa libro sa mga libro. Pero um, even though our Sisa here, the Sisa here sa show na to is basically helpless, she's a Sisa na again, somewhat the same from the books, but also very different, especially in the in the later episodes, no, just a few weeks ago. The fact na we were able to see a scene kung saan kinalaban niya mismo yung kanyang asawa na si Pedro, I believe. That was more than enough to see that this Sisa right here can stand up on her own even though she's at her lowest state. And amazing. It's it's simply um it's um it's amazing here. It's amazing how they were able to portray women in this show right here. Um uh, thank you for writing that in Melly. Um, Arte, sitting on his road in, nagets ko yung um, pagtumba ng Guardia Civil na suntok at sipa ni Fidel. Pero yung tinapunan niya, ito ng isang Guardia Civil na suot niyang sa lakot ay di ko agad-agad gets kung bakit nagawa nung patumbayin yung isang Guardia Civil na ako di ko na matandaan yung action scene na yun. Mabigat ata talaga yung sa lakot. At masakit sa kat- katawang kawag tinamaan nun na mawapatumba ka talaga doon, mawawalan ka talaga ng manay. Pero parang ganun nata yung Ah, uh, ganun yata yun. True, nag-ala. Captain America yung shit na sa lakot. Um, ah, sa lakot ba yung sumerero? Grabe kasi siya nakita ko yun as in uh, tulog talaga yung gorgeous civil sa pagtama ng kanya sa lakot. Ah, medyo nalala ko na. After na, minsan napapaisip ako, ito ba yung part na, su- na sumisi na idea ni Ma'am Susie, Dr. Lero. Ah, uh, nag-worry ako sa Voltus 5. Hmm, global interest yung palabas, pero yung eksena ng katulad to, wag naman sana. Hmm, in- interesting criticisms from you guys. Ito naman sasabi ko ah. Ever since that second episode, naalala niyo yung sa second episode ng Malaklara Tibara na parang sampalin ni Padre Damas o si Clay. Tapos pin- tinigil ni tinigil ni um, ni Ibarra yung sampal. From that moment, I already realized na when it comes to action, this isn't the show for this isn't the show for you. This show has some action scenes, pero they don't have the best display of action. It feels like na they don't have a choreographer when it comes to the action scenes at all. Feeling ko yung mga action scenes dito parang o oh, sige ito gagawin niyo. Iba to mo yan. Iyan din mo. Tapos, parang hindi pinaplanuhan. Yun ang ramdam ko. And I can say I can conf- confidently say that the weakest part of Mana Clara Tibara is basically the action scenes. The best action scene na nakita ko dito um, is the introduction to Elias when he confronted Padre Damaso and the introduction of the reintroduction of Elias um, as him being an alive person alongside with Fidel. Just a few weeks ago, those are the best two action scenes. But everything else, well, they're just terrible. They're just terrible. You know, masasabi ko. And you know, you guys are right about it. Uh, good thing for, for um, good thing that you guys pointed those things out. All right, uh, my lord is wrote in. Ang ganda ng episode na to. Ang daming ganap. Siyempre lalo na yung muling pagkikita nila Clay at Fidel. Napasigaw talaga ako ng Hernando dahil sa Udlot the Kiss uh, na katuwa din. Naman kasi nag-trending din si Hernando. Anong trending pa siya? Pero expected ko na na wala talaga mangyayari kissing scene sa kanila kasi hindi po, mapay- hindi po mapayag si Barbie. Once lang ata siya nagkaroon ng totoong kiss sa isang series pero smack lang ata. Lahat puro may daya na. Ah, okay. I, I understand. That's fine. Um, kasi si Barbie may shota na, di ba? But you know, it also depends on your partner. Um, Barb, if that is the case, for the things of kiss, it reminded me of Sarah Geronimo. Remember when Sarah Geronimo used to be in a lot of um, love um, um, rom-coms, right? Whenever there's a kissing scene, that thing never happens at all. 
especially yung uh, very special love trilogy that a kiss never happened um inanggulo lang nila pero there's no real kiss um tama ka po isa nga po malaking reunion ng episode na ito tamang tamang title hashtag MC Amikai Reunited ah okay yung pala yun natuwa din ako sa pagkikita ni Clyde at Elias uh, may healing power ang damit ni Fidel <laughs> no feeling ko nagpatulong talaga yung abs ni Fidel eh once na nakita ni Elias yung abs ni Fidel dun na gumaling na siya <laughs> yun ang feeling ko Um, maganda yung scene na pag-uusap nila Elias at Kabesang Tales. Um, kung isipin, mahirap talaga makamit ang solid ng pagkakaisa sa iba sa bayan. Oh my God, that's true. Um, kasi meron talagang iba na iniisip na yung kumikilo sila laban sa kaaway ng bayan pero tinatakpan din nila ang kanilang mga kababayan. That's true. Unity is really difficult. Um, that, that's been the case for human history for the longest time, diba? Pero, yeah, that's, I think that's just human nature. Um, I think we will, I mean, it's also why it led to, you know, um, naging teritoryo tayo ng Amerika, it led to that. Even sa first government natin, between Bonifacio, and um Emilio Aguinaldo and also between Emilio Aguinaldo and General Luna yeah yeah that, that's our story that's the Filipino story if not that's the whole world story si Kalil ang nagshine sa episode na to that's true 100% uh, sobrang galing ng acting niya natutuwa ako sa kanilang dalawa ni Barbie kasi mas matanda si Kalil what? mas matanda si Kalil? Eh, hindi, mom. <laughs> Dang, mas malang. Kasi yung edad ko si Barbie. Eh, hindi. Uh, mas matanda ako. What the? Tama, baka nilalaman sa pangalan nito? Ba't parang ibang... Mas matanda ito? Ba't mukhang bata siya? That's weird. I just assumed na mas bata si Kalil. Pero wow. Okay. That's interesting. Hindi <laughs> ko alam yun ah. Um, seeing nila na, um, okay, Barbie mas matanda si Kalil, pero sa scene nila makikita na ate talaga ni Barbie. Yeah. You know what? There's a rule here when it comes to us as human beings. You know ba? Our first impressions really last, di ba? Kung first impressions natin, that's the one that sets the standard. The fact na nakita natin si, um, si Basilio na mas bata compared kay Clay, Um, I wasn't surprised na nakikita mo yung pagkaate ni, ni Clay pagdating kay older Khalil, kay teenager Khalil. It's because we got used to it na mas bata si si, si Basilio kay Clay. Yun, yun ang naging standard natin. Kaya para mahirap na i-separate yun, di ba? And I think that's the ex- explanation for this thing. At yung scene nila pati sa amin, grabe, ramdam talaga yung trauma niya. Um, hindi ko sure kung kasama talaga sa utos ni Direk na suntok yun ang lamesa. Pero solid ang pagkasuntok niya. Nabasa ako sa Twitter kagabi na nasira doon yung lamesa. <laughs> grabe naman. Um, kaho yun, ha? Excited na ako na makikita sila. Nila, nila ni Clay at si Moon. Me too, me too. Um, nag-theorize ako dyan, gumawa ng video about dyan, um, pero yung padre sabi, magpaparanin kasi wala na, siya, wala na sa kanya yung libro. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Musta naman kaya si Renato? Magkakaroon kaya siya ng redemption? Hindi, si Renato ay mabubulog sa korato na yun, nang nakataling kanya mga kamay. <laughs> Yan yung ending ni Renato. Pero yeah, um, thank you for writing those in, Mare Lourdes. Alright, um, Art they wrote in. Uh, nagulat mo na ako kay Basilio sa eksena nila uh, nina Padre Salvi. Pero grabe yung pagkakarating at uh, pag 
ganap ni Khalil doon. That's true. Yeah. In that scene between para sabing Khalil, man, Khalil yung, <laughs> Khalil yung highlight. Easily, Khalil yung highlight. Namang damang ka po yung emosyon, galit at lungkot niya, lalo na yung um, binanggit ni para sabi si Sisa. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Talagang doon umano eh. Um, Khalil Ramos was able to show this thing na parang garit siya and nat- nat- natatakot at the same time. Pero once I mentioned ni Padre Sabi yung sinasis and crispy, nag-level up yung acting na yun to the fact na is this, he was showing the same emotions pero you can feel na it's the, the emotions he was showing was heavier. And that's when I realized na man, Khalil Ramos has the experience when it comes to acting. Doon ko na-realize na he, he is really good. Um, I also got bo- um, goosebumps. I also watched one of his previous works, The JMA Network, Love You Stranger. I've heard of that with her off-screen and real-life girlfriend, Gabby Garcia. Gabby Garcia, ito ba yung babae sa... Sa... Ano yun? Ay, iba yung nasa isip ko. Pero parang... Parang familiar siya eh. Familiar name, pero hindi ko siya masyano mamukhaan. Um, because of his dark theme, and I really know that he is capable of it when it comes to acting and on-screen performance. But even with background knowledge and information and previous um, experience of him, he's, he still shocked me with that scene with Pad Savi. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, there is, what it come, if you're a, an actor and you've got several projects, there will be always that one project and that one scene in that specific project na talagang doon lumalabas yung full um, performance mo. And without having any knowledge about um, Khalil Ramos' other projects, I wouldn't be surprised if yung episode na to is his peak performance as an actor. It was simply an amazing scene. Um, Arte also wrote in, grabe talaga yung, uh, grabe talaga yung mga black militong si, uh, si Padre Salvi, uh, maski nung sa Noli Betangan, eh, pagaya na lang kinaanding at manaklara noon. That's true. At ngayon naman, pala si Basilio ang balak niyang i-blackmail. 100%. Gusto pa na sana niyang manggaya kay Padre Dama sa noon na ginawa nito sa libingan ni Dona Rafael Ibarra. Pero siya naman ay sa libingan ni Sisa. Yeah. Pero that's that's how that's how Padre Salvi functions. That, that's how he gets the stuff that he needs, di ba? And him realizing that it work with other people, then he simply believed na he can use the same strategy with Basilio. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to see another scene because he is going to blackmail someone else in the group. Pero that will be a sight to see. Okay, nako naman, Hernando, nando na talaga eh. Papunta na talaga tayo doon sa unang halik, nilang dalawa sa lobby eh. Um, mas kailang segundo man lang sana, Hernando. Alam ko naman, kailangan na kailangan mo lang talagang mga abiso sa pagpunta at pagbalik ng mga alfales at mga iba. Ang kwarta sa bill, pero mas kailang segundo man lang sana, Hernando. <laughs> Hindi, ang bagal na lang eh. Kung ako si Hernando, kung ako si Hernando, maghihintay ako limang segundo. Kasi alam ko kung anong mangyayari. Pero if hindi pa rin mangyari yun, no. Safety first, you guys. Safety first. Tsaka na yung, tsaka na yung landi na yan. Hindi naman mabagal ang mga galaw, kilos, at magiging halik nila dalawa. Sadyang nakaslow mo at pinaslow mo lang talaga yung, yung unang beses ng muli nilang pag, 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 um, pagkikita. Kaya ganun at, o oh, naging ganun. Kaya naman mas kil, ilang segundo man lang hirandando ay hindi talaga pwede. Mas key, uh, isang mabilis ang halik man lang. Isang mabilis ang halik lang talaga, Hernando. Isa lang talaga. Matikas ang ulo mo, Hernando. Uh, maka- makalalabas, makatakas, makatagbo, at makaligtas pa rin naman kayong lahat. E eh, maski na matuloy yung halik ng dalawa, sadyang nagmagamabaga lang talaga ang gagawin nila. Kasi nakaslow mo at pinaslow mo. Dahil pala pinagalitan ni Hernando yung mga, ano, mga editors, diba? Pati yung mga camera crew, dahil pinaslow mo nila lahat. 
ya, 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 ya. La, la fin Spanish, pues, se han a, a Sagen Hernando. Hindi naman ako galit sa'yo, uh, medyo nagtagtampo lang sa'ng konti. Ikaw naman kasi, nako, arte, kapag nakita mo si Hernando, in person, sampalin mo siya. Dahil sa kanya, hindi mo nakita yung halik na yun. <laughs> Alright. Arte also wrote in, um, I just want to share this book, Sir Jasper. Maybe this, uh, maybe kind of, and just a smaller minor spoiler, but I hope this will hype and excite you instead of the next episode. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, I already watched tonight's nice episode of 93 on TV, and all I can say for now is, oh boy, oh boy, I love this episode. I love what's happening in this episode. I love every bit of it. I'm excited to see it now. Wala akong context about episode 93, other than thinking that there will be a reunion finally with Simone. But oh yeah, with with this statement right here, I am now really really excited. And thank you so much for that. And we got one more comment. Bago pa no orin yon that air punches and bitin part same man same man yeah. Ngayon ako whenever bit whenever bitin yung something whenever there's a bitin part or a cliffhanger. Gumagana na ako kasi gusto ng sunto kanyo monitor. But at the same time, I go to sunto kanyo monitor. So <laughs> there's that. But yeah. Thank you for attending that in Allen. And now it's time to watch Manaklara Tebara episode 93, you guys. See you guys on part two. Goodbye and take care and thank you for leaving those comments in. Sorry for the delay, but now we're back. See you guys. <laughs>